Hello everyone, here's our midterm exam overview. Please take good notes because I won't be repeating it, but you can always play back this video. So here we go. The exam is going to be open for two days, two days only, online, taken through Cengage MindTap, not in the class as far as not a paper exam. You can always come on campus, you can do it from home or anywhere else. Make sure that you use a secure laptop or desktop computer, definitely not a tablet or a mobile device. Make sure you have a strong internet connection because if you get booted out, guess what? It's going to already record as you're ta you've taken the exam. Please don't request extensions. Understand that this covers chapters 1 and to 7 in your textbook. Yes, you will recognize some questions from previous quizzes. There are 10 short answer questions, 15 multiple choice, 15 true false, worth a total of 100 points. The breakdown of that means that each of those short answer questions are worth 4 points each, while the multiple choice and true false questions are worth 2 points each. You have 180 minutes, which is 3 hours to complete the exam. There's no retakes, no makeups. Once you begin the exam, the timer begins. There's no save or turn options, so you can't leave and go have dinner with your boo thing and then come back and try to take the exam. It doesn't happen that way. No, you cannot go to your daughter's ballet recital and then come back to finish the exam. Once you begin the exam, you must complete the exam, period. Um, it cannot be accessed before or after the last day of midterms. Please don't wait till the last four hours of the final day to take your exam because that's when everything goes astray and awry. Please try to take this exam either the first day or the morning of the second day at the latest. Something else, some tips. Every time I give an exam or quiz with short answers, I always get someone that complains because they ran out of time because they were spending so much time on their answers. Here's the deal. I'm not looking for a thesis. All right? I don't even need an essay. I just need a short response. That can be one paragraph or less. It could be answered in one sentence in some cases. In other cases, it could be a few words. I just need to know you understand the concepts. So make sure that you go to the short answer questions first. Tr get those out of the way. Then focus on your multiple choice and true false. Between, multiple, between the um, essay questions and true false, those two are going to be your most difficult because those you definitely need to know the answer for the most part. Uh, multiple choice, you can split the difference. You have four options, um, four or five options. You can split the difference. With true false, it's either true or it's false. Um, so you have a 50 50 chance of getting it right. Short answer, you can be able to kind of speak your way through it. If you've read the content, if you, some things are common sense questions. If you use your common sense, you can answer them. So get those short answer essays out of the way first, then go to the other questions. If you have any questions specifically for me about the exam, please email me. Thank you, and I will see you all in class next week.